Hello, <coughs> excuse me. Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts, where, well, you might be thinking, why are you looking at Satsuma? Because that's the ship you designed at the end of the last episode. And it is, and I really like it. But a channel member spotted a problem with it. If you didn't know, YouTube now allows creators to give channel members early access to videos and uh, it's something I've been trying out and I really like it uh, for a few reasons but one of the the, the main reason today is that channel members because they can see the video and comment on it I can find out about mistakes in my ship builds before they go public um, so the Satsuma has a problem I left the main shells on Max AG which obviously is not Intended so we're going to fix that first of all, so we're just going to copy the design Because I haven't ended the turn or anything uh, So this can be fixed straight away, and we're going to switch this to standard ratio, which is actually going to put me overweight um, so I'm gonna to have to do some some fiddling and this is gonna be the Satsuma uh, V2 <laughs> Uh, what can I take off? 42 tons. Probably this inner deck layer. There we go. So we can just adjust it very slightly and uh, basically fix the design. And then I'm going to head over to the fleet screen and uh, fix the construction order. Okay, so uh, here we have the original Satsumas, which obviously... Uh, they haven't gone into construction yet, so scrapping them, uh, I'm not really wasting much in the way of money. But obviously I want to keep the names the, pretty much the same, so we can have... Uh, actually, do you know what? Let's let's have Karga, because I can't retype the, the funny O's. Uh, so we'll get rid of that. And yeah, let's have Hugo. But Satsuma is the same, so... Fixed. <laughs> um, so, yeah, whoops. But if you do make a mistake with a design and you spot it quickly enough and or you don't mind restarting production, that is how you can fix it. Anyway, that is not all the uh, design work that needs done because, of course, I promised at the end of the last episode that I would, in fact, build the battle cruiser comp... Com compliment no companion <laughs> ships to the Satsuma. So we've got the modern battle cruiser. And I know I've got the large cruiser, but this is this is for another time. We will definitely be building on that. Um so these are actually oh no, these are actually an old looking hull. Interesting. Okay, these look more like a a kind of direct well, no, because the Karasawas, don't they? Yeah, they've got the this sh kind of hull shape. So, they are newer, I suppose, in that the casements have been removed. But it does look like an old ship. I hope I get another battle cruiser hull then. Okay, I'm not... Hmm, okay. We'll see. Uh, 35 knots. That would be pretty spicy. 45,000 tons seems about right. Um, hmm. <gasps> Small Pagoda Tower. I know it's not as good as these. It's lighter, though, but I know that people love pagodas, so pagoda it is. <laughs> uh, right, and then... Hmm... Go with this one. I think that one lets me mount a funnel on it. It doesn't. Okay, we'll not use that one then. Um, wow, that's an American one. That looks really quite strange, but it does kind of work. Again, if it fits a funnel. Which it doesn't. So, deck funnel it is. 
Um, I think I'm going to go with a super duper funnel. Over the super funnel. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think that looks good with the ducting. Um, and then we're just going to go for a, uh, a small tower at the back. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, we should be able to do this with a gear turbine and a balance boiler. Oh, not quite. What about 34, 32, 32 knots. Okay, that means it's the same speed as our our cruisers, like the Asamas and the Nico Sharanes and things like that. So that that's fine. Um, diesel. Okay. How are we looking on weight? We're pretty low, actually. Oh, could could we put 16-inch guns on this thing? That would potentially be very, very spicy. What's the uh, Karasawa packing? Eight 14-inch guns. Hmm... Oh, do you know what? I'm not sure. So one option would be to go eight eight fourteens. Let's let's start with that, shall we? And see where we get to in terms of displacement. So that would be very much uh, an kind of iterative update, um, especially if we make them 40s. There we go. Now, secondary guns. Probably up in the pagoda, we're going to have to use two inch guns, aren't we? Yeah. Now, some of them won't mirror. There we go. So we can have some little piddly two inch, but I would like heavier secondaries. How big is a six inch gun? Pretty sizable. But I'm going to pop. I'm not going to leave them there. <laughs> Before people get really upset, I'm just leaving them there. For comparison, we could also you potentially use a five-inch gun instead, but five-inch gun isn't that much smaller. Do I get any side barbette options? Oh, I do. Uh, not those ones though. I do get the. Oh, I do get the dual barbette for medium guns. Just not this. One or this one? I do get this one. Interesting. Yeah, we could definitely make something of a secondary battery. I think. Um... Right, what actually fits on there? Because I doubt... F oh, five-inch guns do fit. Hmm. Uh, that looks super derpy. Is there a better way of doing that? Barely better. Um, what about a much simpler arrangement? Hmm. 
Mm, no. Yeah, I need the bar bit if I want to fit three. Um, hmm. That one might fit. others in. Damn, because that looks kind of cool. I kind of like that. That fits that five inch gun pretty much perfectly. Okay, I'll come back to the secondaries. <laughs> Baby. Uh, I mean, I don't have to have everything super tight like this. We are allowed a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of freedom here. If I was to do that, that's a pretty nice secondary secondary layout in my opinion now the only problem is I really want to just tuck this in here but it won't let me uh, I guess we could have boats back there can we just gonna put those boats back in I just keep taking them out. Oh well. Uh, kind of looks gap toothed. Okay, you know what? Take those ones out. We we'll just have the two. Something like that. Not the best, but it's okay. Right. Uh, enough. Enough waffling. Crip uh, four. Barbet five. Anti torpedo four. Double point hull. All or nothing. Anti flood. Reinforced bulkheads, standard ratio of shells, base fused, cap plastic twos, TNT four, cod eight three, auto loaders, electro hydro, cause five, RDF, and armor for a 14 inch gun. So we know roughly how that works. So yeah, about 14 inch on the main belt. Four inches or so. On the extended deck, we probably want about six. Yeah, about six. Uh, for HE, 1.5 is going to be fine. Uh, 16 on the tower. And layering. I don't want to go crazy with layers. And then 16, no, 8, 16 on the turrets. And we're at 91%. <laughs> okay, if I put the kitchen sink, yeah, we can't put the kitchen sink on. So I think actually that this, not as essentially as ambitious as I was originally thinking you know we've got compared to the Karasawas we're basically just a, a little bit faster than a Karasawa <laughs> it's a lot more expensive though than a Karasawa Karasawa is probably a more efficient design in terms of costs. Why are our costs that much more? What are we getting over a Karasawa? Well, we're getting maximum bulkheads for a start. 
Uh, we're getting some of the nice to haves because uh, Karasawas don't have all or nothing. They don't have the group four, so it's got superior protection because we've got the 160% uh, armor quality, which I was using, right? Yep. Uh, so basically, this is going to be what the refitted Karasawas are like. Uh, yeah, hull bulkheads, very expensive. Anything else stand out as being super expensive? Deck armor, engines. Yeah, it's just an expensive ship. But it has a pagoda on it. And a super long nose. <laughs> the best of the Yorick style German design. And uh, Japanese style pagoda hotness. Um, yeah, th these will do great. I'm sure they will. Right, uh, I'm going to save it. And I'm going to get at least two under construction. Maybe more. We'll see. Yep, just the two. Akagi and... Okuhotaka, 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 there we go. Um, yep, just the two of them. Uh, they'll be ready just before the Satsumas, um, which is fine, but this is going to tie up my construction for quite some time. We only have, what, 30,000-ish spare tons. Uh, so I'll accept some destroyer orders again, but yeah, this is a real limiting factor. Uh, in terms of research, we're getting anything else in the meantime. No on that. Uh, destroyer design. Always use more destroyers. No, I don't think we're getting anything uh, particularly shocking. I am going to put a priority on small guns, though. Um, I kind of want to get all the Mark V small guns done as soon as I can so that I when I do the next round of refits, which will probably be 1935, something like that, once we have radar, which will be 10 years after the last round of refits. Because, um, yeah, I do. I, yeah, getting refits done is also a drag on uh, the shipyard capacity, so I don't want to be doing it too often. Um, but I know it needs done. Anyway, we're at peace, so let's have a quick look through the politics screen. Uh, the Soviet Union is probably the most likely to be our closest rival, um, most likely to come to war with us. Uh, they have nine capital ships, which is quite impressive, actually, um, and some other stuff. Uh, Italy... Uh, Quite like us, so we shouldn't be at war with them any time soon. Uh, possibly Spain coming to get us. We have 18 capital ships, but quite a few of them are older and are in reserve. Spain has eight. Uh, Germany has, wow, 20. Nice. Uh, Britain has... <laughs> whoa, Britain, though. With, what, 30, 31? capital ships and the United States with only six they've got a lot of small stuff though yeah and it looks like they're going to go to war with Italy okay interesting uh, I'll keep you updated if there's any uh, any progress but um, everything for now seems relatively relatively quiet okay welcome back it's now uh, June of 1931 and things have not been going well for Italy they've been at war for nearly a year and in that time well you can see what's happened to their fleet power they have a battleship and a battle cruiser that's it uh, their GDP is not going down at 1.98 percent it is tanking and I'd like to put out I'm using pretty much the vanilla values for GDP hits um, it's a little bit more on a transport loss, but that they, they are, uh, but not a lot. Uh, and they, they are absolutely hemorrhaging there because they are at war with the United States and Spain who have not been suffering those crazy losses. I think we might be seeing Italy collapsing <laughs> here because they are in a lot of trouble. 
Okay, welcome back. Uh, we hmm. <sighs> we have some options. I think I, I think I want to try and go for the large cruiser. You know, um, because I think a large cruiser at about yeah about thirty thousand tons. Basically, seeing this as a a super heavy cruiser of some sort. Um, wow, that is super heavy. Uh, let's go for this one. Uh, I kind of like the the flat nature of it. Um, probably just with a, a small superstructure on the back. Yeah, something like this. Uh, now, gun arrangement. That is what I'm just not sure about. Because I think we can make a ship like this... Like this work. Um, so my best Mark IV is the 12-inch gun. So I'm thinking of basing it around the 12-inch gun. It's a gun that we have used extensively in our older reserve fleet. Um, and I think it'll be perfect for shooting up uh, cruisers, basically. Uh, we've seen that the United States has an awful lot of cruisers, so I think something along the lines of 12 12-inch. 12 That's what I'm thinking. So a bit like a, an Asuma class. This is the Asuma, right? Uh, Asuma, sorry. Which is the four triple nine inch guns, but just bigger. Bigger and badder and nastier. Um. Secondary guns, uh, we do have five and four inch Mark Fives. Um, five inch don't fit, so we're looking at three inch guns, aren't we? Now we could use these little piddly ones, but I think the oh no, the quads don't get mounts. Okay, it's got to be the got to be the little piddlers then. Oh, and it's all 2-inch? Okay, we're just going to have a uniform 2-inch then. All the little 2-inch guns. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, yeah, so we've got a bunch of 2-inch guns. Very nice, very nice. So far, we're looking okay on displacement, but it does fly up very quickly when you start adding all of the cool stuff. No, 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 not cheap at it. Uh, yeah, especially once we get to armor, I suspect. Now, the only other thing is we'd have unlocked marine... No, there are only marine diesel ones. They are a little bit... They are a little bit lighter though. We're turbo electric. To twenty eight six six three. Twenty eight five eight one. Twenty eight two forty three. So the diesels are very slightly lighter. Okay, do you know what? We'll experiment with some diesel engines. Why not? It'll give it great range. Um, it means we can get back to armor. Now, how long are these guns? 45, so that seems perfectly viable. Um, how much armor would we want? About 12 inch. On the main belt. Okay. Um, 
probably want, yeah, three inch on the extended belt. Uh, deck arm, we probably want about six inch if we can manage it. 1.5 on the extended, just to keep out HE. Let's go 14 inch on the tower. Uh, layers do not need to be anything amazing. Uh, 14, no, 7, 14. And we're at 97%, although I haven't put on a rangefinder or a radio. <laughs> it's uh, kind of important. Right. Okay. Yeah. Stand, stand at everything at the moment. Be nice to get some upgrades, but this thing is very heavily armoured. It's kind of a throwback, in a way. It's a bit like taking one of our old 12-inch battle cruisers and updating it. And I think the 12-inch battle cruisers will still be uh, very useful uh, in this sort of role um hunting down lots and lots of cruisers maybe this represents a rear um a resurgence of the uh, 12 inch battle cruiser fleet i quite i quite like them Shush. um i like it i just wish i had better bulk kids now i'm gonna go with standards we should get some weight back when we get access to diesel twos um and potentially we can shave down the armor when we get better quality stuff but uh, it depends because these are only mark fours so we we'll need to keep up with the mark five upgrade but yeah these things potentially very nasty indeed right i'm going to save the design and, and then i'm going to work out how many i can build all right, I've decided to build five, which pretty much uh, puts puts me pretty close to the, the maximum. So we're going to build five of these um, to just help cover our um, <laughs> cover our <laughs> our requirements. We are just about to finish the battleships, though, which means um, yeah, I guess. We can start work on the full-on Yama Yamato, or Yamato, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Mm. Italy, by the way, uh, it's nearly six, it's over six months later. They are still surviving. Their fleet is basically gone. They keep repairing or building a new ship, but yeah, Spain and the United States don't seem to be able to get a blockade in to actually finish them off. Uh, so they're just kind of clinging on by skin of their teeth uh, we are still not a, well maybe at war with Spain Spain, Germany and the Soviet Union are all plotting against us so we'll have to see how that all goes okay welcome back it's now August of 1932 and we have radar radar 1 but it's still radar um, and a few other texts but radar was the one I was wanting to uh, get done because I think we can now start on the full fat Yamatos. <laughs> Potentially. Now, I don't actually know if I'm going to be able to squeeze the 18-inch guns onto the Yamato hull. Or whether I'm going to have to compromise and go with the 16s. Um, also, this ship is so fat. It's unreasonable. So... I'd like to keep it a little bit lower, so. But I like having the length is the only thing. See, at sixty-six thousand tons, it's still humongous. This thing, I think, probably just uh, reducing, potentially reducing beam and draft. Mind you, what was at Yamato was actually about eighty thousand tons if. Uh, my memory serves uh, something along those lines 
Uh, what was a full load displacement? Do, do, do. Yeah, 72,809. So why don't we go for 73,000? Yeah, see, I think I want to reduce draft. I'm going to reduce it by 10. And I'm going to reduce beam by 10 as well. Okay, no, not 10, 5. And we're going to go for that 73. Uh, call it 75. Okay, so I get a longer ship <laughs> without quite as much of the chunk. Um, okay, let's see if we can make this work. Uh, right, tower. Uh, well, okay. Um, I think I'm going to go for the... Oh, I was going to go for the cheap one, but it doesn't fit. I'm going to have to go for this one. I'm only getting two base accuracy for like 700 tons. And three million. Is it really worth it? No, I don't think it is. I'm going to go for this one. And secondary tower-wise, 21. These are best, outright better. They take up so much room. I'm just going to go for this one. Um, and a funnel. Okie dokie. Now... The swoopy, swoopy deck, uh, not as overpowered as it used to be, sadly. Right, let's have a look. 18-inch triple guns. What are we talking here? Now, the other thing about this is the... Um, the rain circle doesn't show you properly what it's like. But let's go for that, and then... We're going to need a, a big. Yeah, probably a big. Big or a huge. Let's go with a huge. Yeah, huge looks about right to me. And then, of course, we're going to have the 18-inch gun on the back. Now, uh, people keep asking for it. So I could try it. I could try and get the uh, the secondary gun that shoots over the top. Um, I tend to prefer not to. Because it... Um, I don't know. It's, it's going to end up looking a bit weird, I think. Uh, it does work. Uh, can I get away with shorter barbet? I think that was the tall one. About the standard. Yeah, the standard just looks wrong. So it'd have to be a tall. Um, I mean, I'll do this if it works, but... Go for a tall, and then on the back probably only need a, a short one. Nope. Standard one. Standard one. Just, it looks kind it looks kind of weird. Uh, no, I think I prefer not not having them. Sorry fans of that. Sorry if you're a fan of the uh, guns that fire over the top. But I can make the Citadel shorter. <laughs> so I'm going to try that. Um, right. Actual secondary is probably five inches. Fives and twos probably, is it? Fives and twos. Now, the, we do have these ones, which will fill in, because people always ask about them. But you can see there they do actually get in the way of the main gun. So, 
Sorry. <laughs> but no. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, how fast does this thing go? 28. How fast were the Satsumas? Also 28. So that's fine. See, I don't know if we're going to be able to pull this off with the 18s. I really don't. 18 inch 50 caliber guns too. Yikes. I know people will tell me off. Yes, I know they were 18.1s. Don't shout at me. Uh, I don't actually know if they were 50s <laughs> or not. I know they were 18.1s, but I will forget and I just want to just going to use regular 18s. I'm sorry. It's already not a purist build. If you want a purist build, I did a full on historical build with Trichinophil. Go watch that. Um, can we get this running on a diesel? No. We're going to have to use... Ooh. Uh, I'm okay with uh, 98. Hmm. I might have to force the boiler. It is a, a, a chonky, chonky ship. I haven't even started trying to armour the thing yet. And we're already over. I will continue though. Standard base view. So put on what you want. And then uh, pair back. It's usually a good way of doing it. Electrohydro 2, Quintessence 5, RDF, and a chin 1 rate. Actually, we could take the RDF off. Save a little bit. Um, right. To actually armor against those 18 inch guns. Oh god. Yeah, no. This this is not gonna work. Not with eighteens, not in the early nineteen thirties. Um I might revisit this hull, but I think I'm so sorry. We're gonna have to go down to sixteens, which are gonna look pretty piddly on this hull. Hmm. They look actually quite ridiculously small. Uh, is there another Bob? It's just like I kind of wish that you could uh, adjust the Z height of Bobettes. No, that looks goofy as anything. No, I think it works best with the 18s. How do I get this to work? How do I get this to work? Because it just looks so good. It's so menacing. But yeah, armoring this up is basically impossible at the moment. You know, realistic battle ranges, we're going to need 24 inches of armor, and that's just not happening. Uh, and we're already massively overweight. Um, although a lot of that is the going to be the turrets. Uh, 20, 10, 20. Um, let's go, I don't know, 18. Oops, eight, 18. Uh, what was I saying? Was it okay? Like four? Four inch. Now we're going to need six inch for this thing. With a good grief, the deck, the decks, probably an eight inch deck, and enhanced extended deck protection. One point five, uh, twenty in on the tower. Three, one point five, zero point five. Yeah, that's not going to work. Right, other options. We could shorten the guns. They don't have to be 50 caliber. Can we get them down to 45s? Okay, if we 
shave him down to 45 caliber guns. They also fire a bit faster, which is nice. Um, we're still 8% overweight and we're on standard everything. Jeez. Yeah, hull, operational range, bulkheads, big turret side armor. Uh, there's not really... Mm. I mean, it could just make it bigger. Uh, I mean, it does make my situation a little bit easier. Let's go for 86. That makes them truly gargantuan ships. Four percent. Oh, I really want to make them work. Looks kind of weirdly proportioned as well, with it being that long. Um, looks very front heavy. It's got this big stern, but of course, all this stuff was for the uh, the seaplanes. Um, so it does make sense that it's kind of forward facing. It's not like we have an offset. That's still not okay. What about happens if I zero the beam and the draft? 103. See, it's just ballooning in size. Now we're making a 100,000 ton ship. Again, I could try dropping speed, but I don't think it's doable. I really don't. I'm so sorry. I wish I could. I wish I could say it's doable, but it's just not. We need, at the very least, we need the Krupp Five. Uh, we need some weight reduction techs or something. I just can't justify. Building this with the 18 inch guns. I could build it with 16s. Um, I could build it with 16s, but it feels like such a waste to build it with 16s when the 18s just are going to be so much, you know, an upgrade in power. Uh, and, you know, by the time you're getting to 100,000 tons, you kind of want to be packing 18s, not 16s. Oh, I don't know. I think I can't. I don't think I can. Right, I'm going to go have a look at the text. Well, after a long period of quiet, uh, where I've just been focusing on the armor text, um, we've got a thing here to go attack Angola with 50,000 tons of shipping. Uh, we've got some heavy cruisers over here, but I don't think we have anything bigger. Um... Oh, we are actually attacking it on land as well. I didn't even realize that. I think our closest battle cruisers are over over here somewhere. Yeah, we've got 80, 87,000 here. Let's send them. And I think, yeah, we've got another 80,000 or so here. 160,000 sh should be enough, one would hope. Uh, but yes, we'll send all that off, um, expanding the <laughs> Imperial Japanese um, <laughs> African territories. Uh, yes, but I've been trying to get armor forging done uh, to get uh, reduced armor weights, basically. Uh, there's a few texts like this that give you 5-6% each, which in this mod is actually really important because you're not getting that from the armor quality. What we do get from Crypt 5, though, is we do get an increased armor strength of 10%. So 
so we're not going to need as much armor so all that is good i'm continuing with my quest to get the small guns completed uh we're also getting some new cruisers not too far away from getting some new cruisers so that's something and hopefully a new destroyer hull nope really only get the experimental i don't get any others okay well, i might have to go back to just designing some more destroyers refits are in the offing as well of course um now that we have radar and such but i want to make sure that all the small guns are at mark five and then we'll, we'll we'll kind of go back to front we'll do all the destroyers first then all the light cruisers and then we'll start doing the heavy cruisers apart from the nine inch ones um because i don't think i have mark five nines yet oh well that, that is what i am researching so yeah in a year we can get all the cruisers and all of the destroyers refitted and then uh, we will be able to do the capital ships um, later, basically. Uh, but yeah, it'd be nice to get the small ships up and running. Anyway, I'll uh, continue invading Angola and let you know how it goes. And there we go. Um, but <laughs> ships arrived and uh, basically that's exactly when Angola gave up. So a nice little additional conquest. Uh, I'm going to send the uh, ships home again. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, ever expanding. Our economy has reached the stage where money is no object. We are making absolutely tons of money and I cannot spend it. Well, okay, my shipbuilding capacity isn't maxed out right now, but um, that's only because I'm dealing with stuff but yeah the, the main restriction on us is not budget it is total shipyard capacity uh, that is that is the problem we are facing but uh yeah i'll be back if and when i'm starting those refits or if um actually no i'll be back before that because i really want to get this arm forging tech done and have a go at trying to make that yamato style ship again Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, I got two cruisers <laughs> instead. Uh, let's do that. That's fine. No. 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 Uh, cool. Um, Italy, still alive. They bounced back, actually. So I think with the changes that I made uh, to the mod, you will still see a collapse, but I think AI empires are able to bounce back because they got very bad, they sued for peace, they're rebuilding their fleet, uh, and they, they have bounced back economically. So I think it's okay now. I do think it's okay now. It's kind of fun when you get all the collapses, but uh, it's obviously not intended. Uh, right, cruisers, sure. Scout cruiser and the modern two, I seem to remember. Come back to you in a minute, battleships. Uh, right. Okay, so this one and this one. Okay, well, we can do both, I guess, uh, and see what we get with each. Um, this thing can go 36 in theory. Uh, how big can it go? Ele call it 11,000. 36 knots. It's pretty speedy. Uh, ooh, it gets fun towers. 15, 16.5, 18, 19. Oh, go for this one. Uh, ooh. <laughs> 8.5. 11. I'm looking at base accuracy, by the way. So we probably want this one. Uh, that means we need a funnel in here. Big old funnel. Can we run you on a diesel? Yeah, we can. We'll do that. Cool. Give us lots of operational range, which is always nice on a cruiser. Now, the last light cruiser we built was the Tsugaru. 
which had 10 six inch guns. So we want at least that. I think we can do a bit better. Uh, let's go for that one. Uh, I think we can have 12. I think we could fit 12 six inch guns, although that barbit actually. Now that one doesn't look right either. Mm, that one's too short. Do I need to use this one? Yeah, let's use the fishing vessel one. I don't know why it makes me think of a fishing vessel. It's, it's this life ring on the side. I do know what it is. Um, but yeah, let's go for 12 six inch guns. Lovely. Okay, so 12 six inch guns. That's very nice. Uh, torpedoes. It doesn't carry underwaters. Can we maybe... Oh, okay. Well, this is definitely going to be a differentiator then. So this is going to be a gun cruiser. The other one, I'm pretty sure the other one does let you fit torpedoes to it relatively easily. Maybe it doesn't, actually. But uh, this thing is going to be a gun cruiser only. What about secondary guns? Can we fit any two-inch guns on this thing? Um, if I'm prepared to kind of do it manually, which, you know, it's fine. Um, basically a little, a little AA battery. Not that there are aircraft in, in the game, of course. But um, you can role-play it as that. But what they're actually for, these little two-inch guns, is if you get close enough to some transports, uh, you don't have to use your main guns. You can just use, uh, use the two-inch guns to obliterate them. Uh, no, not nose views. Base views. TT4. Grid 3. Auto. Electro Hydro. Cast 5. Sonar, yes please. Radar, yes please. No depth charges because it doesn't have them. Uh, we could also fit an RDF. Uh, that, that does help a little bit with the gun aiming speed and recon. Um... And there's a flagship communication bonus which stacks with the radar. So it is worth bringing both if you can. Uh, but it's a nice to have rather than an essential. Um, okay. What's our new armor quality? 170. All right. Uh, 170. Right. Six in... 40 caliber guns 2 inch 25s right these things uh, four, we just need at least 4 inches of armor could we get 6 no but we could get 5 that's perfectly acceptable 4 and aft yeah probably just 1.5 Main deck, probably just a universal, oops, <laughs> splinter deck, um, tower, it'd be nice to get a little bit more, maybe six inch, uh, inner belt, 1.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.1, and the inner deck, 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Six inch guns. Yeah, let's get six inch face with a three inch top and a three inch bobbit. Jobs are good. Un. And we've got loads of spare displacement. How delightful. That means we can have maximum bulkheads, we can have spacious crew quarters, and we can have maximum range. And we still have spare displacement. Can we knock down the size? 
Uh, <laughs> I can if I'm prepared to completely screw up the entire ship. Oh no, just the funnel and the A turret need moved. That is looking a lot more busy. It's a lot more compact, this thing. But at 10,000 tons, that is technically a treaty compliant ship. Not that treaties are in the game either, but. You know what I mean? Uh... <laughs> and there we go. A, I think, pretty decent, pretty decent little, little cruiser. Nice little gun cruiser. 164. Not too much more expensive than the Tsugurus. The Abukuma. I like it. Safe. Right, let's look at the other one. What are we getting with that hull? Modern light cruiser. Two. Uh, wait, wait, how fast did those go? 36. Okay, they, these are still speedy. Let's go for 36. These are bigger. So let's go for about 12,000 tons on these things to start with. Hmm. Same tower choice, pretty much. <laughs> Not on the back, but it's fine. That tower's okay. All right. Uh, sure. Oil. Diesels? Diesels? Um, same six-inch guns? Same six inch guns. Uh, once we increase, increase them a little bit. Okay. Group five, barbette five, double hole, barbettes two, five, anti flooding, standard ratio of base fused and cap ballistics. Standard everything for the IJN. Uh, again, no depth charges required. Got a lot of... Well, okay, this thing comes with no armor. Can we have the same level of armor? Or can we have a little bit more? Yeah, we can have a little bit more. How much more? Okay, 6.7. Let's go for 6 with... Uh, yeah, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. So this one is going to be a slightly more protected version. Potentially I could make the main deck three, actually. So this one is going for protection. Let's go for eight, four. Something like that. Uh, so we have enhanced protection on the ship. It's a more expensive but slightly tougher version. We could definitely go for that. Given that toughness is a requirement, let's go for maximum bulkheads as well. Uh, secondary guns. We don't have any. We don't have any torpedo launchers either. And I would love to... Yeah, I thought maybe this would have torpedo as an option. But, well, not really. Not once I make them... Like, yeah, I was kind of hoping I could fit some in here, but... It's not looking promising. Yeah, I can shove a quad in, but... Like, when I make them 
21 inch. They're not... Oh, they do fit, actually. Just the quintuples don't fit. Okay, how about two quad launchers? Doesn't impact the... Oh, it does impact the gun quite a bit, actually. Um... Okay, that's not too bad. So two quad launchers. So these ones come with torpedoes. The other one doesn't. I wish this one had the casement torpedoes. <laughs> um, totally use those. But yeah, we could get two... Uh, we don't have to use standards anymore. We could use the old uh, Japanese special, the oxygen torpedo. Seems appropriate. Uh, and then we just have to think about a secondary armament. I suspect, yeah. Basically get these chasers. And that's it. So, two very similar ships, I would say. Especially, we can probably max the range as well. Hmm. So we have the Abakumas, which are pure gun cruisers. And then we have a the Neodos here, which are heavier protection, more expensive, and carry a torpedo threat. So more of a general purpose light cruiser. I like both of them, actually. Hmm. Let me know in the comments, though. Which one do you prefer? Would you prefer to serve on an Abakuma or a Neodo? Uh, which one would you prefer to build as an Admiral? Bearing in mind that this one is like 80 million more expensive, something like that. Um, these are significantly more expensive than these ones. So, yeah. Interesting. Interesting design choices. But we have loads of money. We can build both. Uh, I think we're going to try and build 10 of both. And I'll see if we can fit that in. I'll see you back on the fleet screen. All right, uh, there we go. I was able to afford 10 of both uh, and still fit it in under our um, under our shipbuilding cap, which is great. I am planning on either starting some refits or building some battleships, so I don't want to completely cap it. Um, but yeah, we, we, we are a go uh, for more stuff. Uh, no action this episode no fights which um it's kind of surprising because it's quite a few years but uh, i've been recording for ages so i need to stop um <laughs> basically what's happened here still spain really doesn't like us germany doesn't like us the soviet union is kind of meh. so i mean if spain was to come against us they have a pretty large fleet actually Pretty large fleet. I think the plan would be to send three groups. One to sit here in the Western Med, one to sit here in the North Atlantic, and one to sit here in the Bay of Biscay. And try to... Uh, try to... Blockade them, basically. We'll, we'll have to kill their capital ships to do that. Um... But yeah, we, we could assemble three fleets. Basically. We've got loads of time. So if slash win that kicks off, I think if we assemble three fleets, one at the 28 knot, uh, so that would be the brand new uh, Baby Yamatos, the Satsuma Mark IIs, which are, I think, now finished. Yep. So we could send these and the 28 knot battle cruisers as one group. Uh, we could send the slow battleships as another group, the 21 knot, 14 inches. And then the third group can be uh, the fast battle cruisers, um, the cruisers and such. Uh, and then we've still got a bunch of stuff back at home in case the Spanish get any ideas. That's the plan. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Treadnoughts. Bye for now.